Now we all know there's no sure way to prevent drinking and driving, but here's a couple ideas that might be able to help you out. Uh, pacing a customer, that's always a good thing. If he's been there for a while, uh, there's nothing wrong with drinking a glass of water in between drinks. Um, calling your local cab company for, uh, for your customers, that's always a good avenue. So if you are behind the bar and you notice a customer that had a couple too many, uh, it'd be in your best interest to inquire, um, does he have intentions on driving? Uh, does he live locally? Can he walk? Um, could you, you can possibly call a cab for him. You can ask if he has a friend that wouldn't mind giving him a ride or another customer that sees that's going that way would drop him off. Um, if you do notice that he has his car keys in his hand, uh, maybe there's a way you could possibly persuade him and take his car keys from him and tell him to come back in the morning and get him. That's always a good thing. So when you're behind the bar, a good way to, be, to become an instrument in helping the drinking and driving issue is take notice of your customers. Um, if they've had too much, uh, there's nothing wrong with cutting them off. You can always take away the car keys and make sure that everyone makes it home safe.